I think one of the big issues is that uh, is on the cancer drug shortage issue. Um, I think the other very big looming issue that we have in front of us is uh, reimbursement on the provider side. Um, we believe um, at, at COA, the Community Oncology Alliance, where we're focused on community practices where four, like Dr. Penley's, where four out of five uh, Americans are treated, that there's a real problem here in terms of uh, the reimbursement aspects of care from Medicare, which is, and, and what uh, listeners should understand is that Medicare reimburses for roughly 50% of cancer care, so they're the 800-pound gorilla in the room in terms of payers. And as a result of that, they're, um, they're causing a lot of ripples, and we believe that the drug shortage issue is actually tied to what Medicare has done in terms of reimbursement. But uh, Medicare reimbursement's having a profound impact on uh, clinics that are closing across the United States, consolidation in the cancer care space, and we think this is a real issue. And unfortunately, um, after the elections, because it probably won't be before the elections, Congress is going to have to tackle a number of bills. Those will include legislation of where they need to forestall a 32 percent cut in physician payments. If that happens on the cancer side of things, um, it's catastrophic. The other thing that listeners should understand is that um, the, the so-called super committee that was found to find 1.2 trillion and 1.5 trillion dollars in debt reduction failed. And as a result of that, there are automatic cuts coming to defense, education, and there's a 2% cut across the board for Medicare that's going to have another profound impact. So we are concerned about those aspects of reimbursement, not as they just relate to uh, basically the payment of clinics, but the impact that they're having on patients, both in terms of access to care as well as the drug shortage piece.